Give it a shot. Oh! <laughs> SBC has recently certified string pins as a form of competition. There's been a lot of controversy about string pins, mostly about the pin action. It seems that most people do not like them, most bowlers. So we are here at Delta Bowl in Antioch, California. They have a little fun zone over here and they have their regular bowl over here. Inside the fun zone, they just installed string pin setters. And these are the first ones I've ever seen in person. This is the first time I'm ever bowling on string pins. So let's see how this goes. We're gonna see if the pin action's any different and see what I can shoot. You have to move this guy. This guy's gonna be in the way for sure. Should I make a video using the ramps? I feel like that'd be stupid, but it might also be funny. Let me know in the comments. We're also gonna set up a camera down lane so we can see the pin action up close in case anything cool happens. Look at that. I'm gonna set this up here. Yeah, you can see how the strings are like pulling on the pins as they're flying a little bit. There's still some sort of pin action, but you can definitely tell there's some kind of influence by the strings. Hey, you see that? Like they fall into the pit and they're just kind of like hanging there. You would have to think that it, it's at least somewhat pulling on the pins as it's flying, right? Somewhat. Oh, as that nine fell, you can see it changed direction. sick. I want a behind the scenes of that curtain, so I'm moving the camera for the next shot so we can see what's going on behind. That was definitely because of the string pins, right? Nope. It's a lot of work getting the camera angles. Oh, I carry so much different. All right, that's kind of regular, I guess. Carry, why? Oh, it carry that one. Damn it. All right, almost back to back four nines. I think I need to move a little bit left. Oh. 
Right. I don't think that strikes without the strings. All right, we're gonna try one game two-handed and see how that goes. Ready? Carry? Dude, that pink carry is not normal, I'm telling you. We are on the front four right now. I thought that was decent. Pulled it, or the string pulled it back. That is nuts. Another really cool feature about this setup too is that you can actually place the pins how you want. So if you want to practice the 710 spare only, you can set up the 710. So you can see you can take out all the pins you don't want to be spotted. Let's say I want to practice the Greek church. Uh, so with this option I can just shoot Greek churches all day if I want to. Got a shot. Oh, let's go. That's my second try. I'm going to try the big four next. Come on, get it. Get it. Oh. I've got a chance. Oh. Bounce. Bounce. Oh my god, I scared. I got the big four and the green church in this video. I'm going for the 710. Bounce, please. Thank you. 
Oh, hook. Hook, bounce. Come in. Bounce, please. Bounce. Oh. Bounce, please. Bounce, please. Oh. I got the 710, the Greek church, and the big four all in the same day on string pins. I'm done, we're out of here, I'm done. All right, so we had to leave after that. I picked up the 710, the Greek church, and the big four within 10 full total attempts. Okay, you got it. My cat just joined me. Hello. So as you can see, pins are flying more than they normally fly. The strings are pulling them in directions that they don't normally get pulled. And it just, I don't think any kind of string pin bowling should be certified. But um, what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Should string pin bowling be certified? Personally, I agree with the comment that I posted in the beginning of this video. Whoever invented string pins should be arrested. And I know just the guy to do it. See ya.